Hey folks, you looking for a fajita recipe that you can get the most flavor out of them fresh veggies you're gonna put in there? I have got the tips and the tricks. So get the grill hot, the best fajitas is coming up next. talking about skirt steak yes that's what it is now there's skirt and there's flank now don't get the two confused they are similar in what the grain of the muscle might look like but the skirt is known for its flavor Ooh, it is a great piece of meat now there's a lot of beef that tastes the same throughout but I guarantee you there are two to me that taste totally different than any other cut of beef there is that is tri-tip and that is skirt we are taking a piece of certified Angus beef skirt steak but we're going to do it mexican style more traditional now still going to start with that lime juice rub it in really good everywhere a little meat tenderizer make sure it's unseasoned and then shan is going to have you in the little description below this Mexican mixture that I got that'll blow your socks off. Some oregano chili powder, cumin, some ancho chili. Ooh, it is what's happening. I like to leave just a little because we're going to have to blend all this back together right at the end in an old cast iron skillet or a crock pot. Got them coated really well both sides with this good seasoning mixture we got concocted up. We're going to place them in a sack, seal them up good, set them in the ice box at least six hours for this cut of meat. Then bring them out, let them come to room temperature, before you ever throw them on that grill. The next thing we're gonna do, folks, is split them vegetables right down the middle. Now, I know you're thinking fajitas is cutting them little strips. This is how we're gonna get the most flavor out of all them veggies on the grill. Well, folks, there is a plenty hot mesquite fire there. It has been cleaned, it has been oiled, it has been ready to go. Now the reason I like to cut them in half is so I can lay them here and we're gonna let them absorb some of that good mesquite flavor and smoke. I like to leave that little onion right there together so it'll stay the root in there on one of them. Whoa, did you see that folks? It was a jumping onion. It happens on occasion. Now, these is halogenous. If you don't like hot, hey, trade them in for some other kind of pepper. But I do like some hot. So we've got them on there. We're gonna let them get charred and soft. We will have to turn them in a minute. So we'll just let them do their thing. This one's shut. This one's about a third. Well, folks, one of the first things that you're gonna have to check and turn, and it probably ain't gonna take about two minutes on a really hot grill, and that is them jalapenos. Cause I don't wanna burn them. I just want them to get some of that good char and see there they getting that and getting soft so we'll turn them and as you can see these here ain't quite got there just yet so we're going to turn them around a little well folks we better check them jalapenos again and you can see that they are beginning to blister and sort of sweat there a little so if you got one of these deals right here put them up there folks because we need them to sit there and just be happy till time one other tip i want to give you with them jalapenos after you be cutting them or seeding them, don't be picking your nose, scratching your eyes, or digging at your butt, cause it's gonna burn. Mm -hmm. Folks, it, you seen me turn them bell peppers and stuff around and turn them over, but you see me mash them too. What are we doing when we mashing them? Getting that surface a little closer to that heat, make them cook a little quicker. We don't like much, and we get on to our skirt steak. We'll do that again. Them get you something you can keep this warm in dutch oven skillet with the lid something but you need to let them vegetables sit there let them get some of that sweat on them and be happy i'm going to give it a quick lubrication of trough arctic route 66 penzoil one of the better things you can eat with let me get the star of the show where are we going folks right on the grill Whoo la i like that sound shut the lid let that smoke circulate we don't have to cook this stuff long, folks, because one of the worst things you can do to it is overcook it. It's probably been on about three and a half to four minutes, so hot fire and everything. Woo, ain't that a pretty picture? 
Start back here with numero uno. Looky here, ain't he looking pretty? His older brother and his cousin Ralph. When you go to seeing them edges curl up just a little as they do and they'll darken there first, but you can usually go about three to four minutes on them and you're in pretty good shape. We got some sweating going on, on top, which is a real good sign. And if you look, this feller here is a little thicker than this one. This feller is ready to come over here and rest just a little. This one is too. We're gonna let this one go right here just a tad bit longer. Yo, it's called the veggie dance it was. What do we do after we cook a piece of meat like that? Y'all all know, you've seen these videos before. What have I taught you? Let it rest before we cut it. So while that is going on, let's take our aromatic hash knife and let's go to chopping us some vegetables. And you can see they sit there after they steamed and everything. And them fellers is tender and they gonna have so much good smoke flavoring to them. I don't need no fork, no plate, no nothing. I could pick that rascal up and go to town. But remember, it's a very grained meat. So we got to slice against that grain. I like to take it and cut it at a little bit of an angle and come off super thin. Cause we got plenty to go around. You folks always asking, I hope you save some for Shan and the Beagle. Folks, I have got plenty of skirt to go around. If y'all was here, I'd even serve y'all. But you don't have to do it this way either. You could do it in the crock pot right at the end. Put it in there, let it cook maybe an hour and a half in there like that, simmer. Add you a little bit of water to the bottom so you don't run out dry. And whew, there's a lot of flavor going in there, folks. I warmed them tortillas up, I did. And I might be a little lazy today. Shan has a great homemade tortilla video. She'll have it in the link right up above there. Now, you roll this up any way you want to. But look at the size of that rascal. Y'all ready? Mm. One thing it's missing. Y'all hear me? Some of that good Red River Ranch green chili chipotle relish. There's so much flavor there, folks, with them vegetables getting that good char. That skirt has a very unique flavor to me. It's sort of like the cross between a, a ribeye and a tri-tip. But ooh, it is so good. Ooh, give me a minute. I got a big bite. So, as I tell you folks every time, we don't take it for granted you watch our videos. Me and Shan appreciate each and every one of you. And I've noticed through the, what they call the analytics of YouTube, my overseas viewers are picking up. So you folks from Germany, Australia, UK, everywhere New Zealand. New Zealand and I'm gonna come visit y'all one of these days but remember Shan will have all this stuff listed in the little description below make sure when you buy meat you're getting a good piece of meat folks that's what it starts with God bless you and we hope to see you down the trail somewhere adios it's time for me to have some more skirt well you can't say that <laughs> do you realize how much you say it now when you can't say folks hey there Hey, Skippy! <laughs> Thanks for watching our channel. I guess you're gonna. Hey, folks! I guess you're gonna leave that say in there. Hey, folks! Right? Hey, folks! As you can see. What do you want me to call them, Shan? Huh? Hey. Just call them pards. Hey, partners. Rego. Let's giddy up to this fajita meat. Whew. Folks, I wish y'all knew what I had to deal with about 29 hours a day, cause it is fantastic. It is. So folks, I don't know if you noticed in the video, but I'm sure you have because you always pay attention. I'll be sporting me a new apron. What's it say? Fullerton Police First Annual Backlot Barbecue. It's kind of hard to read it like that, huh? It is, <laughs> especially when you can't see it. But we went out there, we were so honored them folks called. They got to visiting with me and Shan because they first watched a coffee video, how to make cowboy coffee. 
and it's what something is supposed to do. It brought people together. They got to share in what was going on during the day. And they invited me and Shan to come out there and judge a barbecue cook-off. And I tip my hat to them folks and all you policemen and firefighters and everybody out there that's always keeping us safe. We thank you so much. Support your local police department. It is a great thing. Maybe they'll cook for you. Hey, can't never tell. But I do want to thank all them fellas out there at the Fullerton Police Department. They are great folks. Thank y'all for letting us use this apron. Mm -hmm.